guys, today I thought it'd be really fun to go through our makeup because we don't really know if we have any that are expired, just things that we don't use anymore. And honestly, I don't really have a big makeup collection, but 90% of it I probably don't want to keep and I thought it'd just be really fun to do this now that we're a little bit out and about of course safely wear your mask sanitize I thought that this whole makeup routine I feel like it's quite different pre-covid and post-covid just because we've been months without it in my previous video I said that I really missed the no makeup days and honestly I am still all for that but I do work in retail and I have to look quite decent in public we will just do like a little casual get ready with me something plain and simple and a little bit that's quite fun is we're gonna do it like mask friendly like really realistic makeup look I'm gonna grab everything I'm not your professional youtuber so I don't have the best lighting and the best lighting is really <laughs> right there by my window so I have my tripod set I'm gonna grab everything all right let's get to it just before we start a really quick OOTD. I am wearing a sweater, which it's probably too hot to wear a sweater, but I thought it was so cute, so I'm gonna wear it anyways. This was from my thrift haul recently. I just thought it was really cute. Just plain black shorts, and we're comfy. Let's go. Here's our makeup. We're gonna pop it right there. A lot of things that I don't have. So you can see my setup. I am no professional, so I have my tripod. Two of the legs is literally at the back there. And I taped my mirror so that I can see myself onto the tripod with painter saves. So I thought that'd be hilarious. We have our makeup here and that's my mask. Hi Winnie the Poos. Yes, I love Winnie the Poos. So I've put my hair up and I'm freshly washed and I really only just moisturized my face so far. Right now I have this like little contraption in my hair because it gets me to curl it without using heat. So basically I have my little scrunchie and I twisted everything and this isn't really a braid. It's literally just twisting it the way I want the curls to look like and just tied it with a ponytail. That was the easiest way. I typically use this in the morning. So to start, I have here my mask and I thought this was really cute. This is from Old Navy. And just so I have an idea of where my mask really lands. Oh, this is so cute. So we're really looking at out around here. Honestly, our makeup will just really be up. And I also don't really want makeup on this and if I'm just gonna wear that all the time anyways Unless I'm taking photos. My effort will be this half up like down there If that's how you do it too and let me know what your makeup routine is to start I have all these foundations I have days seasons that I really like particular Foundations I keep it too because my color changes based on if I tan obviously in the winter time We just get really light really fast the three products that I use are the first one It's from the ordinary. It's just your regular high coverage foundation in the 2.1 piece so the medium with the pink undertones the next one is this Maybelline Superstay and this one it is the Fit Me Foundation Hydrate and Smooth in the color Sandy Bay. Today I'm gonna be using this just because I like this the most for now. The bronzer blush. I'm so lazy so I really only use one and this is from Revlon. It's the highlighting palette. To be honest I could only really use it the top of my cheekbones and a little and then like the upper area because again we're wearing a mask for eyebrows this is from elf and honestly if you look at their brow selection there's either only that like square palette that looks like a dupe from nars or is it anastasia whatever it is they have that which i used to use but i wanted something that i could use for a little longer i felt like that was half of this and it's this paint pot that i think is a dupe for anastasia so i don't really know the name of this but i'll try to 
will link it down below. It's this. It's just in the espresso color and I got this mini brush. Don't know the name. It's really old. That's what I use for my eyebrows. When I'm feeling fancy, I'll be using mascara and right now what I have is this Maybelline Great Lash. It's just a really good staple and a really cheap drugstore brand. Of course, moisturize your lips. Never ever skip this step because this is really good if you start off your skin routine with hydrating your lips so by the time it's not as thick and oily you can put whatever you want and your lips wouldn't be cracking a well-used powder is this fit me powder honestly i've been using this for a long time you can see it's almost half gone hit pan it's in the color natural beige so we'll be using that for the whole routine and i will see you once it's all done So the makeup so far is just half up because of how the mask will land. So just a point of reference, I have my mask here and where my mask will typically land is just right above my nose. So you can see where I put it is I put some foundation ending where the line of the mask is. I put some bronzer and highlighter in the higher ends of my cheeks. I've done my eyebrows and of course powdered everything to ensure they're matte and primed everything how I want it. You can do whatever you want in that case. Honestly, this is a good foundation for me, but because we're not really working on our bottom half, for the most part, we will have a lot more time. So all of that contouring that we typically do, we don't have to because of the mask. And so I thought, I don't do this on a regular day, but maybe we could put some really funky eye look. I'm not your professional makeup artist, but you know what? I am down to attempt it. I brought two palettes that I have, not again a professional, the one the first one I have is this Smashbox soft box palette this is super super old and honestly well loved when i was using it because i brought it traveling and everywhere and then i have my naked smoky palette i also have the first or the second i think the second naked palette when it was a little rosy and i don't have it right now i use that palette a lot more because i find that the, the pink tones is a little bit more natural than obviously the smoky palette but i think because we're gonna try to be a little dramatic today i'm gonna use this if if you can see, I've had this for a while, but honestly, I have barely used it, so I thought it'd just be really fun to go through this endeavor. Let's see, I will come back when I finish this eyeshadow look. <laughs> oh my god, guys, I am living for this look. Like, I really need to see the viewfinder too. I don't typically wear anything like this. And honestly, I am shook. It's not even anything complicated, but I think I just have not seen myself with this kind of makeup. And I have no words. For this look, as you can see, I did a little bit more of like the brown tones of whatever was available in the smoky look. I think it's because I'm wearing like this pink and red, red at the bottom that I was feeling a little bit more like warm colors and also it's summer so I think it was just natural that it was gravitated towards that. The colors that I used, whiskey, this kind of like mid brown at the outer corner of my eye and then just literally swiped this gorgeous shimmer which is dirty sweet just in the middle and going into the inner corner and my inner corner i originally used 13 but i thought that was incredibly white and i'm a tan girl so i just went down to combust right here which i thought was perfect for my inner corners and also in my brow bone oh my gosh like I haven't been using like eyeliner to be quite honest just because sweat and heat with liquid eyeliner even though it's waterproof it's just not something I want so I use black market or any like black eyeshadow in whatever palette I'm using and just kind of swiping it at the top right there try to wing it a little bit but not a big deal if I don't just to add a little bit more depth and then of course I used mascara to top it off because I don't have any eyelash extensions or have not done any lash lifts but honestly the world of a difference it makes to have a depth of eyeshadow and even just using two for reference right now <laughs> Thank you. 
I hope this video inspired you just a little bit to either declutter your makeup or to have ideas on what to put as your makeup when you do wear a mask because we have to be safe out there during these times but I hope you enjoyed this video comment down below what other tips and tricks that you do when you put on your makeup as we wear a mask nowadays I hope to see you in my next video thumbs up if you liked it I'll see you next time bye I like the bed to myself